Yo, this is the Ron Owls Report. It is March 21st, and it's dark outside. I'm the cheese. What's up, bro? This is the cheese. Sorry at, I got fat. At I'm sorry I got fat. Minds.com. I'm Jody Brown. Don, at Jody Roundhouse. Minds.com. What do we always say before a video? Fuck the garbage, man. <sighs> yeah. Mm-hmm, right? Yeah. Say it. Screw the garbage, man. That's right. Mm-hmm. We're going to talk today about the creation of Germany. How Germany created was created. Um, we're going to span from the 19th century, the Kingdom of Prussia and the Northern German Confederacy, mm-hmm. all the way to now, and where we think Germany should be and what we think Germany should do now under Merkel, who's about to be voted out of office. Quick overview of Germany previous to the 19th century. He sleeps with this shit because his elbows are all messed up, so he has to keep them like this, like a freaking corpse. My elbows are not messed and up. He sleeps I do it just for comfort. He sleeps with this shit. All right. It, it comforts on. me. It's a kid from no, di- no Direction or One Direction or whatever. Anyway. He has two posters up, too. Uh, Germany. Yeah, we have to lay a couple foundational groundworks here. We're going to be as quick as possible. We're going to try to bullet point this. But mm-hmm. any videos you've seen of mine, I get off track quick. And the cheese. It's the marijuana, legal marijuana. Well, it's legalized. I have medical issues. Mm-hmm. Uh, the cheese, he is um, an international speed freak, dexedrine, amphetamine, um, Benzedrine, um, all sorts of... Vix inhalers, I crack them open. Yeah, it takes out the cotton and puts them underneath his tongue. Really gets you fucked up. It's, it's quick, though. It dies quick. It's like it's so, like James Dean. Well, no, you, 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 he once went seven days without sleeping. But anyhow, mm-hmm. how Germany was created. <clears throat> Germany, previous to the 19th century, was a confederation of states that had been the norm first, since the Middle Ages. First, we need to differentiate if you Google... The Kingdom of Prussia and go to images, look at where that is, and then look at where the German Confederacy and those states were. It was a confederacy of Germanic states south of Prussia, the Kingdom of Prussia, Mm -hmm. mostly consisting of, I believe, Bavaria, which was a large chunk of it. That was a large province that made, that was a large state that made up this confederacy. And these were all separate from the Austrian Empire. All separate. The Austrian, Mm -hmm. the Austrian Empire, the Austrian Hungarian Empire. And what was the main difference between the most, not all competitors? Most, yeah. Most of the Germanic states were competitive with Austria. But historically, that had its uh, root in the fact that Austria was the defender of Catholicism and many of the German states were Protestant, but even some of the Southern German states like Bavaria you mentioned, which was Catholic, okay. still saw itself as a, uh, uh, in competition with Austria. My face. It's beautiful. I know. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, the kingdom of Prussia was founded by Knights Hospitaller during the Baltic crusade, which was a way for German nobles to go and try to get land and, uh, fighting the pagans, like the Lithuanians, like my friend Arnis, he's a Lithuanian. He's, very sturdy, but he's small. I could easily nowadays, devour him. Nowadays, it's the Baltic states or Lithuania, Estonia. Yeah. And one, one more. I'm forgetting. I forget. Yeah. It's right before you get to – Belarus is in there too. But uh, <clears throat> Germany was a confederation of states and then when – There was no Germany. It was the Kingdom of Prussia and then the Northern German But the Germans still had a common culture and language and they considered themselves one people. In fact, even Martin Luther during his Reformation sort of uh, – put his his uh his religious revolution in terms of good Germans versus these decadent Italians, that kind of thing. The Pope was a decadent Italian and the good German Christians were down to earth peasant farmers and they were more hardy and cool. But anyway, <clears throat> Confederation of States, then the Kingdom of Prussia emerges as the leader because it's because mil- of its uh military technology, it's and its and its uh, military tradition, its army was the strongest. So these German states looked to Prussia to be the number one uh what? I just wanted to throw in real quick that Frederick the Great instituted a number of reforms to get the local nobles and lords wait, wait, in what? the Kingdom of Prussia. When to, was it, this around? Uh, this was in the. This was leading up to the to actual creation of the Kingdom of Prussia, if I recall. Mm-hmm. Um, but the the prior to the actual Kingdom of Prussia being consolidated, the local you know the nobles and the lords of like medieval times. They weren't paying taxes to like the central state that was trying to Fred, Frederick the Great wanted to make a strong centralized state based mm-hmm. on the military, based around the military. Mm-hmm. So he had modernized the military in Prussia. And Very brutal military. If bunch, like you stepped out of line, they would they would flog you. They're a bunch of badasses and mm-hmm. they kind of paved the way for modern warfare today. Yeah. They didn't have uh they didn't have tanks back then. But they did. But they did have an innovative uh, gun that they used—a field rifle. 
which was innovative for the time. Uh, that was used during the Franco-Prussian War during 1870 to 1871. And the Franco-Prussian War is literally what created Germany. Literally? Literally, because after the Franco-Prussian War concluded, Paris was occupied for three months. Um, Prussian-led Germanic troops marched under the Arc de, Arc de Triomphe, if I recall correctly. Mm -hmm. And Paris was occupied for three months. It was humiliating <clears throat> for the Parisians and for the French. And the empire, the German, the Germ German empire was officially created then. The German empire, which, a.k.a. the First Reich, founded in 1871. That's the Second Reich. First Reich was, uh, what's his name, that medieval guy who went on crusade? Frederick the Great? I'm not, no, maybe it's not Frederick. He was the guy who st stood outside of uh, the Pope's palace in the, in, the, in the snow until the Pope was forced to uh, well, Fre 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 communicating him. Frederick the Great is the one who made uh, Prussia basically into a highly, <coughs> uh, 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 a, a highly innovative... Barbarossa, that's his name. Sorry. A highly innovative military... Barbarossa is the first Reich. I think the Prussians were the second Reich. And then Hitler was the well, third Well, you're going to throw off my notes if we go there, so let me just stick to these notes here. Okay. So... Uh, where was I, buddy? I don't know. The, the Franco-Prussian War was a humiliating defeat for France. Built, the build-up to the Franco-Prussian War, have you ever heard of Otto von Bismarck? Mm -hmm. He was a highly influential official in the kingdom. I think he was the, what was he, the uh, chancellor of the army or something like that? I'm, I'm not sure, but he worked under the king, King Wilhelm I, who was the founder of Germany, because he was the one who was... Ostensibly, he had... Sort of, he was like the power behind the throne kind of guy, and he's the one who sort of. There was a movement in Germany during this time that had been going on for several generations, uh, uh, prior to the probably uh, at the end of the of the 18th century into the 19th century, a movement to unify Germany. And the fact that this has sort of been in its in its proto form since <clears throat> even before the time of Luther, the Germans saw themselves as one people, and before that, you had the Holy Roman Empire when Germany was officially united under. Uh, the Holy Roman Emperor, and they considered themselves sort of a very loose political organization. But anyway, Bismarck wanted to finally unify Germany minus Austria. And they had the printing press, so he used that yeah. as a propaganda tool to stir up resentment both in France and Germany, the Northern German Confederacy, and mm -hmm. the Kingdom of Prussia, two separate entities. The Kingdom of Prussia was separate from the Northern Germanic Confederacy. Um, he wanted to stir, he stirred the pot. So the Germanic peoples as a whole, and the French people as a whole, yeah, and and at the time they were getting pissed, and it, he and he basically created the war, in, in a sense, because he wanted to create a unified, German, powerful Germany. Yeah, it was German nationalism, and Prussia was a let's break let's just break it down. It was a military state. It was a military state. You had to serve in the military until you were like freaking sixty. It was they introduced drill, discipline. They had very innovative tactics, weaponry. Um, that that rifle, the field rifle that I mentioned earlier. Um, they were beginning to introduce maneuver warfare, whereas the French weren't. The French were wearing red pantaloons during the Franco-Prussian War. Uh, that was from 18, uh, si that, that was a six-month war between 1870 and 1871. The French wore red pantaloons because they believed that the the shocking sight of these billowing pants, these red bright these br bright red pants, as these soldiers ran across the field, moving from position to position, would psychologically devastate any enemy that they were up against. It just made for good targets for the Prussian slash German Confederates. This is a very lopsided war. The Franco-Prussian War, French dead, 138,000. Prussian slash Germanic Confederacy dead, it's only 44,000. So ca the total casualties dead and wounded, Prussia and its allies, 144,000. That's a lot. But France, 756,000. So dead and wounded Prussia and its allies, 144,000 versus France, 756,000. Yeah. Maybe, almost a million in 1871. And this is when the population was around probably 10 million. So it's almost, it's almost like 7% of the population dead right there and all male too. So you got a lot of, a lot of widows. Yeah. It, it, it messed up a lot of stuff in France <clears throat> with regards to their demographics. Um, but that's what created the German empire, which la it was founded, you know, uh, and Bismarck had used this war as a means to yes. to accomplish his dreams of uh, unified Germany minus Austria. Under the Prussian King Wilhelm I. Now Reich, the, the, the First Reich, which I think was the German Empire. Um, the Reich means empire or realm. Uh, the Germans and the Italians during this period, the Italians under Mussolini. Um, 
they were trying to recapture this Roman-esque, larger-than-life empire. And that's and even Russia, the Tsar translates into Caesar. Kaiser, that translates into Caesar. Caesar is like the epitome of what can be accomplished or what these people wanted to accomplish. Mm -hmm. Napoleon had modeled himself after the Roman Empire, specifically Augustus and Caesar. So the first strike was the German Empire lasted from 1871, the conclusion of the Franco-Prussian War, which, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned the, yeah, yeah I did, the Franco-Prussian War. That lasted from 18 set. The, the first strike lasted. <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned the Franco Prussian War. <laughs> the first. You haven't gone a day in, in, in like 10 years not mentioning that war. <laughs> I used to talk about it at work. Oh. Franco Prussian War created the German Empire, modern day Germany. That lasted from 1871 to 1918, mm -hmm. when Germany was officially defeated at the end of World War I and the Treaty of Versailles was signed. That moved into the Second Reich which was the Weimar Republic. The Weimar Republic is not considered a Reich. Just let me, let me do this real quick, because I wrote out these notes. This, you're going to get called I, on this. I wrote out these notes in a specific way. Let them call me. Sec not, it's not considered a Reich, though. Stop, man. A Reich just means rule. It means government, empire. Right, but historically, the, how the Germans modeled that history, first Reich was Barbarossa, then it was... We the could do another video, or we can do a comment war, a flash war... A flame war, whatever. But let me just spit this out because I just want to get it done. We're already want, we're already over ten minutes, Holmes. Come on, cheesy. You want to have these false notes? Don't you want to be educational? Th this is educational because I believe this to be true. So let me just say it. First strike, eighteen seventy one to nineteen eighteen, when Germany lost World War One. The Treaty of Versailles was signed, and Germany was well. Namely, You're forgetting Barbarossa. I don't know enough to speak about. But Barbarossa he's considered right the first now. Reich. That's his. If you mention First Reich... I'm not going to get into a debate with you about this, Philip. Wait until later, okay? All right. As you can see, I used color to a highlighter, and this stuff is expensive. So the, se the second... the second, <laughs> We're already committed. The Second Reich was from 19, 1918 mm -hmm. to 1933. That's when the Allies, the victorious Allies after World War One, namely Britain and France tried to force democracy onto Germany and it's kind of you can draw parallels between the United States trying to nation build and force democracy in Iraq and in Afghanistan. You can see where where that's heading and has headed. So the Second Reich was the Weimar Republic. That ended in nineteen thirty three with the rise of Adolf Hitler, who officially in nineteen thirty three consolidated full power over Germany as the undisputable dictator. That was the Third Reich from nineteen thirty three to nineteen forty five. I don't need to say a whole lot about that. From 1945 until the collapse of the Cold War, 1991, I call that the No Reich. That was the occupation time period. The Soviet Union occupied Eastern Germany and the victorious uh, Western allies, the United States, namely, and Britain and France controlled Western Germany. I call this the No Reich, the occupation Reich. Uh, German, the, I, I, the, it's the modern Germanic Dark Age. From 1945 to 1991, when the Soviet Union collapsed and Eastern and Western Germany finally unified. The Fourth Reich would be from then, 1991 to now, March 21st, 2019. <coughs> I want to. That's what Angela Merkel officially calls it. Angela Merkel, uh, the current Chancellor of Germany, is going to be voted out of office pretty soon because they're losing province after province to right wing nationalist parties in Germany. Merkel is set to resign. Um, we need a charismatic re leader in there, a populist leader, no one evil like Hitler, but someone like Trump or, you know, like a Mussolini. Victor some, Orban, yeah. Some, some kind of guy who's going to, he's a populist. He's going to rile up the population because there's a lot of bullshit going on in Europe with, his, with immigrants from Africa and from the Middle East. So I want to make the Fifth Reich because the German military psychologically has been devastated because of all the evil Nazi shit that was done. If we get more than like 100 views, YouTube will flag this. We want to start a, a fifth Reich, and also we're talking about how we don't like immigrants. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to remilitarize Germany. I want to, their public school system. I want to teach them the real and indoctrinate them in the fascism. I want to not fascism. I want to indoctrinate them with regards to the history of Prussia, highly militaristic and a nationalistic doctrine. Well, just basic. If you just look at the basic history, it's impressive. You don't need to really fluff it up. The history of the Kingdom of Prussia. Barbarossa, Frederick the Great, mm -hmm. um, early German history, uh, the Northern German Confederacy, the political dynamics, the cultural the and dirty religious Saxons dynamics. And their migration into the Celtic, the Celtic Britain. But make no mistake, the Prussians brought very innovative um, 
Publius Verus. Tactics, very innovative tactics. They were beginning to introduce um, maneuver warfare in the mm -hmm. Franco-Prussian War. Uh, and that's why there's such a lopsided victory. Almost a million French dead and only 144,000 Prussian and wounded, French and wounded. Yeah, but how many, how many Germans did Merlin just personally kill? Who? Merlin. Merlin? Mm -hmm. Publius, the, the Chronicles of Publius Verus? Oh, uh, he didn't fight them. He fought the Huns. The Huns? Mm -hmm. There was a band of Huns that were scoot, scooting around. They had detached themselves and they had sacked Rome and they moved north up into what would be the Holy Roman Empire. And then he was down there training cavalry, Publius mm -hmm. Verus, uh, or Merlin, I forget which one. Mer it was Merlin. And then Merlin is the one, or Merlin's son, who came across this detachment of Huns that had broken off from the main army of Huns. And he had to fight them cavalry on cavalry. So nice. I want to make a Fifth Reich that actually has a strong military that can stabilize Europe. I don't want any evil shit. I want a charismatic leader that's going to create kick Germany out all the immigrants and make Germany great again. Are we going to kick out non-white people? Uh, that's a whole other video, a whole other topic. But, but yes or no? Non-white people can stay to a degree. Yes. But, but well, non how many will we kick out percentage-wise? Just depends. We'd have to talk about it. Okay. I don't know. Maybe like 90%. We want it to remain a white Christian country, like right. what the Hungarian president said about his own country. And the Polish president. But we want it to have a strong military, because without a strong military, which they don't have right now, mm -hmm. they can't really do anything. If they had a strong military, that would allow the United States to free up about 50,000 troops that they can move and plop down into Asia where we really need them. So that's the creation of Germany. This is the Roundhouse Report. We joined the Roundhouse. We got the cheese. Fuck the garbage, man. All right. Please subscribe. Sorry, I got that.